एक बार जब ये सब क्लियर हो जाएंगे तो लॉजिक्स काफ़ी अच्छे हो जाएंगे राइट सो इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग द सेम कोड ऑफ सर्च बार अगेन एंड अगेन इट मैनी प्लेसिस टू जस्ट राइट इट वंस एंड देन यूज डेट कंपोनेंट इन मैनी प्लेसिस सो लाइक दिस यू कैन यू आर एबल टू इंटीग्रेट योर फ्रंट एंड एंड बैक एंड एंड यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट इज वर्किंग Hi everyone I hope you guys are doing extremely well welcome back to coding ninjas youtube channel this is Rajat Rawat and in this video we will be talking about the complete roadmap to become a full stack web developer in 2022 so in this video we will be talking about the complete roadmap like from the beginning what you need to do what are the prerequisites uh, in order to start the web development course and we will be also talking about the time stamp like in how many days you can uh, able to understand and learn these things right so hum start karenge we start from the prerequisite first First of all the prerequisite for this course is that uh, you need to learn DSA okay because DSA basically like uh, involves problem solving so if you have good problem solving skills then you are able to think more easily and your logics will be better right like uh, wherever you solve the problems you are able to understand the logic behind those problems and then you are able to code it and you are comfortable in that programming language like you are comfortable with the semantics and the syntax and you are able to code and you are able to think the logic also so by doing the dsa your logic will be clear and uh, your prerequisite will be over after this so the only prerequisite is to learn the dsa and in dsa you, you don't need to learn many things like you don't need to learn dynamic programming at all you just need to learn the basic dsa like arrays uh, linked list stacks uh, queues trees and graphs and hash tables okay these are the main things which you need to learn uh, and uh, after doing this just solve the 100 to 150 problems of these topics and then you are good to go because why i am saying that your logic will be better ek baar jab ye sab clear ho jayenge to logic kafi acche ho jayenge right to logic ho jayenge so you are able to think the problems what is happening behind the scenes right when you are doing any language in the web development like there are various things in web development then you are able to code you know that you have coded these things previously okay so you are able to understand the thing quickly and able to code the logic that is the main thing that your problem solving and the logic should be clear before starting web development there is one more thing which you need to do that is the git and github Uh, that is the most important thing because to, at the end ultimately you need to push all your codes on github like uh, whatever uh, website you will make whatever codes you have done you have to push all everything on github and also in the industry when you are working you need to put all the codes on github you need to merge and fork and then push everything on github okay so learn git and github learn these two things it requires basically i think 2 to 4 days in order to learn git and github and you are able to understand the basic commands just learn these uh, git and github in 2 to 4 days and after that when you learn these things the codes which you have written of the dsa the prerequisite which i told you that you have to uh, code 100 to 150 problems those codes you can push on the github okay so that you are able to understand the basic commands of git and you are able to get familiar with the github okay so after learning git and github push all your dsa codes which you have written previously on the github by using the commands so you are familiar with the dsa and now you are familiar with the git and github also now we are good to go with the full stack web development now full stack as the name suggests is consists of two parts one is the front end and another the back end first you you need to focus on the front end part now on the front end part there are three things which you need to do html css and javascript so first we will focus on html and css now html and css is basically you can say it is the base of the web development like uh, for the programming languages the base is loops functions similarly the base of the web development is your html and css now it takes around uh, i think 10 to 15 days in order to learn the html and css just uh, learn these basics of html css like the tags html tags css designing part div and all these things these are the main and important things which you need to learn and apart from these how you can learn these things you can learn and implement these things by creating small projects like you can uh, create your own portfolio or blog and your own page like this uh, and you are able to understand that how these things are implementing create your own blog by doing these things learn div div is the most important thing which you need to learn and it will be used in, in many parts later in the development learn div learn flags designing tags and everything by creating your own blog and your own resume okay then you are able to understand how everything is working in the front end and after that you can start a third thing which is the javascript 
Java script is basically a programming language, just uh, like the other languages like uh, C, C++, Java. Java script is also a programming language, and uh, it is also uh, have the same things which other programming languages have, like the loops, the functions, and everything. So you need to learn Java script from the basic, like functions, loops, how it is done, everything like semantics and everything, syntax and all of. It. And JavaScript is the soul of the web development. Like uh, suppose there is a form and uh, you have written the password and username. Now you need to click on submit button. Okay. Now on submit, what happens behind the scenes, right? How your uh, things are validated, how your things are stored and everything. So these all things like the action performed, the, the function which which will happen actually, these all are done using JavaScript. Like you have, you need to show the animations part. Like these all you can do using uh, JavaScript knowledge. So you need to learn JavaScript by knowing the basic loops and uh, functions and all, and learn this and implement these things by making a small projects. Like uh, you can create a game like two zero four eight game or snake game or tic tac toe game, and by making these games you are able to understand HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And yes, most importantly, whenever you learn all these, put all your codes on GitHub. Okay, so that you are able to uh, understand these things in a good way. Uh, so learn JavaScript properly because it is a soul of web development. Uh, so you need to learn it properly so that you are able to understand everything. Learn closures and all everything. So it takes around 20 to 25 days in order to learn JavaScript. And also put everything which you have done on GitHub after doing all of these. So till now you are able to understand and learn the complete front-end development like first you learn the prerequisite then you learn the git and github after that you learn the html css and javascript so html css and javascript constitutes your whole front-end so you are able to understand the front-end and git and github and everything in around one and a half months so in one and a half months you are able to understand the front-end part with your projects ready and pushed onto the github now it's time to learn the framework the front-end framework so Framework is like it basically helps you to reduce the cost and able to do the same thing in multiple ways like there is a search bar. The search bar is used in many places. So instead of writing the same code of search bar again and again in many places, you just write it once and then use that component in many places. So framework is like component like it is a component code like we create the component at one place and use it at many places like the search bar. As I said, because search bar is used at many places. So instead of writing the code of search bar at many places, you just write the code at once and use that component at many places. That is the reusability of that component. That is the main use of the framework that it is reusable at many places and writing once and used at many places. So the, for the front end framework, you can use there are two frameworks, Angular as well as React. Now React is most popular uh, nowadays. It is a hot piece and hot cake you can take, right? So uh, you can learn the front end uh, framework as a React and uh, by learning the React, you are able to understand many things and the framework is very uh, nice and it has quite a lot of aspects in job also. And it takes around one month, around 20 to 30 days to learn the front end framework. Now, how you can learn? You can learn by doing, by making projects, like make sm small projects like the snake game or the media player, By like this you can make. Also, like suppose you want to compare two movies. There are two movies, you can, you want to compare these two movies. Then you can compare by using their APIs, like, or you can compare the two footballers or two cricketers. Like this you can do by using the front end frameworks and all, okay. And uh, again, I said after making any project, just put everything on the GitHub. Okay, so in around uh, two to two and a half months, you are able to understand the frame, uh, front end as well as its framework. So in two to two and a half months, you are you are become a complete front end web developer. Okay, so this is how you become a front end web developer. First, you need to learn the Git and GitHub, then the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and then a framework which can be either Angular or React. And React is most preferred and it is quite widely used. So in two and two to two and a half months, you are able to become a front end web developer. Now coming to the back end part. Now back end basically involves like in the back, what is happening in the back, right? How the data is stored in the back. So first we need to focus on database and database mostly involves four operations, which are CRUD operations, create, read, update and delete. These are the four things which you need to do. And that is how you play with data, right? You basically create data, update data, read data and delete data like same thing you need to do. So first you need to focus on the CRUD operations like the database designing, creating posts or uh, how you can create comments, delete comments, read comments, update comments. So you are able to understand these things. So learn CRUD operations first in one month. We can learn, so we learn the database designing in one month by creating a, a small app which involves creating posts or creating comments, reading the post and comments, deleting the post and comments or updating the post and comments. 
so in one month you first learn the crud operations basic crud operations so you are familiar with the database design now there is basically the full stack web development usually named as mon m e r n or m e a n right which m e basically involves mongo db which is a database in mon m e r n e is express js and express js is basically it is used to make the backend work easily right similarly in the mon the r is for react and n is for node js or if you want to learn mean mean stack like m e a n here a is for angular that's it so the complete flood full stack web developer consists of mon or mean whichever you want to learn the difference is only in the framework either you learn angular or the react you can learn any of these but uh, mon is most important and most uh, widely used nowadays m e r n the react one okay so in that i told you already how to learn the react react basically involves the front end part in in that or everything is involved html css javascript and react okay that is the r part now the m part is mongo db which is database now in order to learn database i told you learn the crud operations first so as to familiar with database and mongo db you can learn because it is widely used and it is a no sql database which involves key value pairs like in the form of a data stored and it is most widely used in many companies and also in interviews some companies ask questions related to mongo db so the m part is over you can learn mongo db now in the e part you can learn the express js which is used to make the backend work easily r part is is already i told you that is the react and the n part is node js okay so it took around 15 days to learn node js express js react js integration of react js with these two right because you already learned react js right that that is the r part now in 15 days what you do you need to integrate this react with the node js and express js right because that is a combination right m e r n you already know r part now you to combine your r knowledge with the express js and node js so you can make some applications like creating the post deleting the post updating the post and reading the post these all things these all basically involves okay so in around 3 to 3 and a half months you are able to understand the complete full stack web development now in these 3 to 3 and a half months you learn the mon stack but you haven't make a big project you make a small small projects that you already made a small small projects like the portfolio resume games and creating and deleting posts like all of these but you need to make a complete big project which involves everything right from the front end to back end everything and database also now that is a one big project which you need to make and you took around 2 months to make that project now some project ideas which you can make uh, in that is basically like you can make an e-commerce website like the amazon or flipkart in that basically you are able to understand the back end and front end also how like you you make the front end of the website so you understand the front end similarly you make the back end by implementing that what happens when you make a click or make an order or make in check out and everything like you have five items so you bought three items and then your cart is updated and then in the stock those three items are removed so that your new stock contains two items only because three are sold so two are remaining so like this you can you are able to integrate your front end and back end and you are able to understand how it is working so make a big project like e-commerce websites or you can make like cloning the whatsapp like there is a whatsapp right you can clone the whatsapp create your own whatsapp or create your uh, own facebook or instagram or snapchat like this also you can create some other project ideas like you can create selling the books app there is a website which is used to sell the books and like this or there is a one more thing which is very interesting idea like the splitter or expense manager which basically used to uh, split the expenses of people so that they are able to understand how much expense they need to give right this is how you can do so in around 5 months you are able to understand everything and make a complete project 5 to 5 and a half months right now uh, you need to deploy your project on a website right how you can deploy do you can deploy either using gcp that is google cloud or aws that is amazon web services so you can learn either of these two you can learn aws uh, that is very good and widely used it takes around 15 days to learn aws and since you need to create a website so you need to buy a domain name of that website so you can buy a domain name by godaddy and deploy your website using the aws so in around 6 to 7 months you are able to become complete full stack web developer you learned front end and back end in the first 3 and a half months then in the next 2 months you made a big project and in the last 15 days you deploy your whole project using the aws so in around 6 to 7 months you are able to understand everything and you are able to code a big project and you are able to uh, become a full stack web developer with a full fledged working project along with a deployment so around 6 to 7 months you can uh, able to understand everything So that's all about this video. 
if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment sections and if you think that this video is of any use or any help then you can press the like button and share it with your friends that's all about this video thank you and have a nice day